Okay, so I could make the elephant fit, but I would really have to cut him down. Or, hold on, hold on, hold on, what if I cut? That would be kind of cool. I could cut out this tin right there so his trunk fits. Oh, I think that would be best. I was going to cut up this horse, but I think if I could make him fit in there, I think that'd be super cool. All right, so let's look at this. Sorry, I have a little treat here. All right, we're gonna make it go. I really need to get that light bulb replaced in there. Come on. All right. If this doesn't work, I'm screwing up my book. Go inside of that first. Oh, well, that worked super easy. I swear, the right tools, these are tin snips. Uh, Fat Max Stanley tin snips. Get yourself a pair. Everybody should have their own tools on their table. Because you never know when you need to cut open a tin. <laughs> so you can put an elephant in. Oh my god, it's perfect. <laughs> this thing is not. Oh Jesus, that worked. Okay, so let's make um let's make this work to where it closes. So we're gonna take this out. I know I just did this, but this is a better idea, guys. It's a better idea. So we'll take that out. And we're going to cut a little hole in here, too. Where's my tin snips? Where'd they go? Just had them. There they are. Gosh. Okay. So. Now he's not going to go down all the way here. He goes down almost all the way. He does really fit in there really cool. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. All right, we'll put something, maybe a uh, little piece of something in there. Okay. So, right here we're going to go... There. Right there. Probably the easiest just to fold this under. We don't want anybody cutting their fingers on it, but nobody should be messing with that anyway. I kind of like this out, but aesthetically it would probably look better if it was in. I don't know. I'm going to, um, these are very sharp little corners on here.
the weapons guide. Oh. Okay, so this guy needs to come in here just a little bit more. Do this before you put it in the book, guys. This is not the easiest way to work on this. Alright, so I'm going to pull it back out and I'm going to trim it a bit more. I'm actually going to trim it off, I think. Unless I can make it look good and interesting. Like that. Now he's totally... <laughs> he fits. He fits perfect. Oh, God. Oh. I love it. <laughs> love it, I love it, I love it. All right, let's put one of these tickets in there. You don't want it to say complimentary ticket. That one works. That one might be a little bit better. I'm looking for the lettering, I'm looking for the composition of the ticket itself, I'm looking for, um, you know, what it says. Did I have any idea this is what this was going to be? Nope, not a single clue. Sometimes it's more interesting to kind of cut it off at it interesting angle here. Still need to cut it down. So close. There we go. All right. Never get stuck in one idea, you know? Always think of what else might work? What else could I do here? I would have never thought to put the elephant in this one. I just wanted him in the other one, but he wasn't gonna fit in the other one. So I didn't limit myself. And now I have an elephant in his own little home. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just putting a quick layer of uh, Mod Podge over these little pieces of paint. It will make it last on there longer. And dirty, I don't mind dirty because I want this to be kind of grungy, but not too. I want to be able to still see. There we go. There, perfect, perfect, perfect. Don't push too hard. It does start to bring up the ink off of the laser print. You got your own little home. Yes, you do. We're going to stick some E6000 on you, and you're going to just be stuck in there. Now, I did like the little keys on it, though. Do I want to put the little keys back on it? And if so, I probably would put them down here. God, that worked out so perfect. I hope I am recording this. Okay. Now here's the issue. This was just put down, so it's not probably dry yet. There we go. Mm. A little bit of space there. I don't think I mind that though. <laughs> I 
It cracks me up. I'm sorry. It just cracks me up. This should probably be painted here a little bit, huh? It's a little bright. Let's see if we can't uh, do something about that color. I don't think we want to go black. With a copper paint pen. Ooh, that comes out quick.
We're going to see if it works like this. I doubt it will, but we're going to try it. I get really tired of not being able to find stuff. Still, I can't flip and find anything. Oh, watch your heat. Definitely need some embossing stuff. I have it. I just have no idea where it is. I just kept thinking about melting that. We're okay. And then melting him. <laughs> it's okay. Alright, I know I don't want to 
touch it with your fingers, you'll burn yourself. It is melted glass particles, for God's sakes. Don't be stilly. Don't do like I do. I actually do like this kind of random texture here. So, even though it's not exactly what it could be, I think it's still pretty damn cool. Right? Kind of this drippy effect. Kind of reminds me of old don't do what I did. Okay. I know I shouldn't do this. It's going to melt those uh, little animals pretty quick, so I don't want to put it over there. This is the rust. It's the chunky rust color. Um, dirty sand. That might be more what I'm looking for. The patina is very cool. It's very blue. Ancient amber. What can I use for glue? It's going to go everywhere. That's going to make a mess. Guarantee it.
Here's the sand. This chunky roast kind of scares me. This isn't going to stay at all, once again. I think I'm going to stop playing with this. Um, what do I put in there? I don't know. What's going to wait?
That is another hour gone. All right, so none of my pages ever go quickly. None of them. Even this one where you think, oh, that's gonna be a simple page. No, there was a lot, a lot of work that went into this. Um, nothing's really ever simple with me. <laughs> but, um, you know, that's why it looks the way it looks too. I love that my elephant hangs out in his own little tin. What do we think, guys? <clears throat> I am still definitely thinking about what I want to put here. It's got to be just the right thing. Uh, I'm not going to rush it and just pick something randomly, um, you know, just because it would work. Um, you know, I mean, I could put the souvenir, I could put, you know, whatever. Um, Actually, that heart, where was that heart? Here it is. No, see, it, it's not right. So I'm just going to keep my eye open for the right thing. You know, something um, long and skinny would be pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool, huh? That turned out pretty cool. Got a little heavy with it, but it wasn't giving me the right color. So it's okay though. Yeah, it definitely looks like it's an old kid's box. You know? We'll color that here and change that tone a bit. <laughs> you love those leaves, don't you? I like that one. I just uh, looked up to see what I had in my. I forgot that I had these, you know, kind of separated. Just some Holtzy things. I like having the uh, three different colors. Kind of a little steampunky vibe. There we go. Don't go cheap on it here, guys. This is this is it, you know. the smaller watch face or the larger one I think I like the larger one okay I think that will be great what direction do you go in after your childhood what you know um, this is kind of you know the, the saying goodbye to childhood page unknowingly but when you put sand into the childhood you know it puts it in the past right so 
Let's go ahead and get this glued in. If I have any more E6000 left, you should see. This is such a huge mess. Huge mess. I've got sand everywhere. Definitely, guys, uh, use... <laughs> Use the proper glue when you're doing your um, um, whatever I was doing. Embossing? Is that embossing? No. Is it embossing? Why doesn't that sound right? Okay, we're going to do north, kind of a little concoid. Actually, we'll do north straight up here. Because you always want to find your true north, right? Okay. And then this guy's empty, basically. Let's see if this old Fabri-Tac has... Or if this old E6000 can still be used. Oh, it can. Hi, buddy. We're just about done. Yes, you had such a nice nap. You let mom do some good work. Thank you for that. You did. You let mom do some great work. Thank you. She was most awesome of you, my young man. Time passes quickly. Right? Doesn't it go? Now, I might come back in there with some more of the embossing powders. But I think that that would look pretty cool. Maybe I'll do cockeyed this other direction. No, I don't want to go this direction here. North wants to be north. What do you think? All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like, subscribe, comment. Don't forget about the drawing. Um, I've got an awesome package together for um, an altered book. It's a whole package, all the ephemera you could ever want, um, a lot of vintage papers and stuff. And I'll probably, you know, keep adding stuff to it. We get to 700 subscribers. We will. Go off a point system. The person with the most points will get that first prize. And, uh, yeah. I think this needs a little bit more, um, in, uh, the powder. But we'll worry about that later because I need to go take puffing stuff out. And I need to go to Ace Hardware. And I need to build a gate. And <laughs> I still need to get this video edited it up. So... All right, guys, love you bunches, and uh, thank you so much for watching and for being here. I really do appreciate it, and I'd love to hear what you think. Okay, we'll chat soon. Love you. Bye.